So in the last video, we did the query part of this task, and I've saved it as task 7. Let's now finish it off by doing the report. Into Create, Report Wizard, and we're using from the drop down task 7. We know from the question that we have to sort the report by higher ID. So I'll pull that field across first, and then title, first name, surname, and contact number. And we also have to show the band contribution and the member payment, and then click on next, and then next again. We do want grouping, we want to sort it by higher ID. So let's bring that one across and then click on Next. Now we can use the summary options here because remember from the question, they want to show the total amount the band will contribute and the total amount to be paid by all members shown in the report footer. So with summary labels, if I check the band contribution and the member payment, that will do that for us. Click on OK. It doesn't ask us to sort in any particular way, so I'll just click on Next. And then the layout, by default, it's stepped. I think I'll just change that to block so it's horizontally aligned and click on next. Let's give the report a suitable title. And in fact, the SQA solution has the report title as youth and adult members entitled to financial support, or it would have to be something similar and click on finish. So at first glance, we can see the support is looking a bit of a mess and we need to go and make some changes to it to make it more presentable. Now, there's two ways you can make these changes, either in layout view or in design view. For this one, I'm actually going to stay in design view. So things that have to come out, I don't need a summary for each band member, so I'll delete that. And I don't need the, the field heading there or the sum there or the, the additional calculation there. Let's just check and see what I've done. And you see it's pulled out all this additional information, but the grand total is still in the, um, the, the page footer, which is what we do want. Back up to see how can we sort the alignment here. I'll go back into design. I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit just to give myself some more room so that I can move. This is the, the sort of field heading there. And this little box here is the actual value. Let's just see what that looks like. There's still an overlap. Let's go back and uh, improve that. I'll stretch it even a bit more here so that I can really separate out the, the fields and the values. So there. I quite like design view. I find for using the boxes for alignment that actually helps me, but it just depends the way you'd prefer uh, to do it. So let's have a look now and see, and that looks better. So just um, a couple of things that we need to do going down to the bottom here to the, the footer here. I can see we've got, um, you know, a box around here and we've got currency and then we've got the hashtag, which means the other field is too narrow. So back into design view and I can see that's why there this little box here is too small. So let's just pull it across and let's see if we can get it in line with the member payments. You might not do as much as me, but I just still quite like to keep going back to the view just to see if everything is um, in alignment. For some reason, this has not been formatted with currency, but the other one has and there's um, borders around it, which is not consistent with the report. Let's go back to fix that. To remove the um, sort of the borders, we need to go into Format, Shape Outline, and make it transparent. And same for the second one, Format, Shape Outline, and make it transparent. And whilst we're on um, this box here, let's go into Page Setup. In fact, no, it's Format we need to go into. And let's go into Currency. And let's now go and have a look and see how that looks and that now is consistent. It did ask us to make sure there was an appropriate label. Well, grand total, I suppose, is not too bad, but if you wanted to go back and change it into design, in fact, we could even move the label closer. That might look a bit better. 
and then just perhaps just use rather than grand total, maybe just put in the word, um, the word um, totals like that. Let's have a little look and see what it, what it looks like there. That's fine. Looking down, that has now worked. Oh, in fact, I still see why we've got grand total and totals. I'm not quite sure where that's happened. Let's just go back and click on grand total and delete. The last thing we have to do is to put the logo into the report header. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this down a bit to give me more room. I'm going to move that down and then I'm going to go into my alt, well, click away and go into insert image. And I had this from before, so there is the image I want. Click on it and then just sort of draw out where I, I want the logo. And then once again, go to view. And that is how we would finish the report.